Well, hello, my friends. I am really excited about this dish that I'm about to show you all because it it ticks pretty much every single box. It's extremely cheap. It's pretty healthy. It's tasty. It's really, really easy to make. And it can, this particular version that I'm making isn't, but it can use 100% pantry staples. So even if you don't have a refrigerator, like you can make this recipe anytime. Also, um, not the version that I am making, but a simpler version of this you can make with minimal kitchen equipment. All you really need is like a bowl and an electric kettle for boiling water, <laughs> and that's it. You can make this dish. So what we have here is a teaspoon of minced ginger and minced garlic. This is just some cilantro from my garden. It's for garnish. It's totally optional. Uh, three ounces of noodles, and I actually really like uh, ramen noodles. Like, I don't like the flavor packet. I ditch the flavor packet and I just use the noodles. I like the texture and how wavy they are, so I just use them, but you can use any noodles. And sesame oil, rice vinegar, soy sauce, peanut butter, sugar or honey or any sweetener you want. Sesame seeds, also optional. And I like adding a vegetable and it makes it a little more complicated, but also a little healthier. And I happen to have celery with no other destination. So this is like two ribs of celery cut on a bias. So first I have a pot of water on the stove coming to the boil. Again, you could just do this in an electric kettle if you don't have a stove, uh, but I have a stove, so I'm using it. Pot big enough for the noodles. And I have for my version that I'm making, again, you don't have to do this. Um, I'm doing a non-stick skillet with just a half teaspoon of neutral flavored oil. And I'm gonna briefly cook the celery and the garlic and the ginger a little bit in here. And then I have this little bowl in which I'm going to make the sauce. So in here, I have two teaspoons of peanut butter, two teaspoons of rice vinegar, two teaspoons of sugar, a tablespoon of sesame oil, and a tablespoon of soy sauce. Now, if you're doing the simplified version of this dish where it's just the sauce and the noodles, at this point, you would also mix in the garlic and ginger. But since I have an additional vegetable, I'm gonna saute that briefly. So this is my sauce. And you just stir it with a spoon until the peanut butter dissolves. And after just about a minute, it mixes. These chunks you're seeing are just the chunks of peanuts because it's chunky peanut butter. I actually like this dish with chunky peanut butter. It's nice to have that crunch in there. My pan is warm on a medium low-ish heat, and I'm just going to saute the celery very briefly. You don't want to cook celery for very long, otherwise it gets kind of gross. I'm really only going to saute it for like a minute or two. And then in the last 30 seconds or so of cooking, I'm going to add in the garlic and ginger. Incidentally, I'm making just one serving of this because Joshua is asleep, uh, but the recipe in the video description below, I have two versions, one for a single serving and one for uh, that serves four. Uh, and each serving is about 600 calories, so it's a pretty like substantial meal depending on what your caloric needs are. For me, it's a little more than a third of my daily needs. And it depends on what kind of vegetable you use, what kind of version of this you make, but um, this whole dish is a little less than 50 cents, at least for me. Prices vary depending on where you live in the country or world. But yeah, it's a very, very cheap dish. Other vegetables you could use uh, are also in the video description where the recipe is. Uh, the possibilities are endless. I recommend using just one vegetable, not a medley. I like the simplicity of just one veggie, preferably some veg that's in your fridge going bad that you have to get rid of. And if you don't have any of that, uh, you probably have some frozen peas in your freezer and those make an excellent addition. And they also complete the protein. Speaking of completing proteins, the peanut butter and the uh, flour and the noodles come together to make a complete protein in this dish. So it is a great vegan source of protein. Okay, it's been about a minute and 30 seconds since I added the celery, so I'm going to add the garlic and the ginger just to cook it a little bit. And again, if you're not doing the version of this recipe that has a vegetable, if you're just making a sauce and noodle, which you can totally do, uh, just add the garlic and ginger directly to your sauce. And you can make your sauce in the bowl that you're going to eat this dish in, and then you don't have as many dishes you have to wash. But since I can, I'm cooking the garlic and ginger just a little bit, because I think it's better if they're a little bit cooked. Ooh, meanwhile, my water's boiling. I always cook ramen noodles about 30 seconds to a minute less than what the packet says. 
I don't like them to be overcooked. And I'm going to finish this in the pan. I'm going to turn the pan off. There's some residual heat in there, but it won't really cook anything because it was pretty low. So I have put the drained noodles in the pan with the garlic, ginger, and celery. And I'm just giving them a brief toss and getting any residual oil in there to coat the noodles before I add my sauce. And again, if you're doing the simplified version of this dish that doesn't involve like cooking vegetables like I did, just pour your noodles directly into your bowl where you mixed your sauce, give it a good stir, and you're done. <laughs> Garnishing with my little bit of cilantro from the garden. This is totally optional. <laughs> Obviously, if you had to buy cilantro at the store, this would be a lot more expensive. And garnish with some sesame seeds. You can get these for really cheap at Asian markets, and they're another really good source of plant-based protein. Wet spot! <laughs> and behold, it's peanutty sesame goodness. Anyway, this is a really easy dish. It came together in 10 minutes and it's tasty and it's cheap and it's healthy and it's vegan. So anybody can eat it. And I really hope you give it a try for all of these reasons. Bye.